You need to be so brutally honest with yourself. Now, this stemmed from two things. First off being, I'm reading David Goggins right now. I haven't read his books. I knew about him. I thought I knew about him, right? I thought I knew his story. And now it's giving me full context on his story, and it's crazy. And so obviously, if you read David Goggins, watch David Goggins, you're going to realize you got to be brutally honest with yourself, right? But the second thing that is actually probably going to lead to more of a conversation here is social media. And that's an area of my life where I've been letting things slip, but this applies to everything. So don't just think I'm talking about that, but that will be the frame I put it in. You need to be brutally honest with yourself because you are, it's weird. You can't lie to yourself, right? You can't actually convince yourself. I guess you could, I guess technically you can, but it's just a weird game that we play with ourselves where like we have problems and when we don't address them, it's like they're not there or they're not problems. It's like we don't like to be brutally honest with ourselves, which is just weird because it's like, how could you not be? But that's a whole other conversation. I'm going to take a sip of water. <clears throat> Clear my throat. Because I'm about to go into it. So this stemmed because I've been thinking a lot lately, actually, about how much um, social media I consume. And I have conversations like this often with um, my brother, um, mainly my brother, really, but just about how we pride ourselves that we got off things like TikTok just to get addicted to YouTube or something else, right? And you don't, I don't say the word addiction a lot. I don't say that word. I've never actually said until right now, I've never said I am addicted to and then said that thing. I never have. Because it's a harsh truth. I've, I don't want to be addicted to anything. and the, But that's what I'm talking about. That's why brutal honesty works. Is because the moment you say, I am addicted to this, <clears throat> you have something to do. You're just like, shit, like I am. Like I have to, I have to not have that happen. But the moment you, like when you don't, when you dress things up and make it look real pretty and put lipstick on it and try to hide it from your own self, there's no problem to address. So no wonder you can't, you know, stop scrolling, stop doing this. It's because you're not even telling yourself it's an issue. You're like justifying it to yourself and you're giving yourself a pass every single time. So I think this is just a huge conversation because me and my brother, like I said, we'd pride ourselves to be like, oh, we're off the bad ones where we don't give a fuck about Snapchat stories and TikTok and Instagram and blah, 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 blah. It's like, dude, if you're on YouTube all day, it doesn't matter. And look, it's not all day, but it adds up, right? And then sometimes I would justify it. It's like, okay, it's while I'm eating. Okay. Would you have eaten that long if you weren't watching YouTube? Right? The bathroom's a common one. Not for me, but a lot of people. It's the bathroom. Right? I, I, I'm in and out. But a lot of people are on the toilet probably way longer than they, they should be. Um, and it's just like, you need that brutal honesty. And I, I said it, and I'll, I'll, I'll bring it back around. You need it because there isn't a problem to be addressed if, you, if there's no problem. If you're not going to bring up the fact that you are hooked on something, that there is an issue here, there's no reason to fix it because there's no issue. Why are we fixing a non-issue? So you have to be brutally honest with yourself. And I even saw a video, funny enough, I'm kind of getting on the end, like the edge of like, oh, I don't really want to be on YouTube or like, I want to be more intentional. Like I'll set aside one hour to watch this specific podcast and I take notes and I apply the information, blah, blah, blah. But a video comes up that says, I quit social media and got addicted to YouTube you know, I clicked and it was one of those things where I was like, maybe I shouldn't click this because I'm, this is furthering the trap, but I'm like, no, this will be like the last thing I watch. Like this will be not the last thing ever, but you know what I mean? Like for now, whatever. I don't, I don't know my, my time horizons yet or what my, my in, intentional plans are, but I clicked on it and it was just exactly similar spot where he prided himself. He got off Instagram and he added up his, you know, 80% of his uh, screen time was YouTube. And it just blows my mind because most of it's not valuable. Even if you're in the self-help space, if you don't take notes and apply, there's no point in you watching anything. Like I've thought about this so much and it doesn't require that much thought. If you watch a podcast and you didn't, and I say to you after, or like maybe right after, maybe a day later, maybe a week later, what did you learn from that? And you can't give me anything why did you watch the podcast? You spent two hours watching like, you know, a Chris Williamson podcast with Alex Harmozy. 
You can't, you can't give me anything. You can't give me one point. So taking notes and, and obviously application because taking like it's all for application, but taking notes so you can look back, reflect, be like, okay, I learned this, 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 and then it registers in your brain. But it's not just like, you're not just going to play back the whole pod in, in your mind. Same with books, same with everything else. So these things aren't serving you for one, if you're not taking notes and applying them, but <clears throat> quick water break here, but there are all, and I hope I didn't like jump over a point or something. I feel like I like might've missed something, but I'm just going to keep, keep flowing with it. They're all taking your time and your focus. That's fucking valuable as fuck. Look, look in my eyes right now. Cause I'm staring down the camera or I guess I should be looking there. Not at looking at my screen, not my camera, your time is worth everything. I'll lose the eye contact. I don't know how uncomfortable I was. Your time is every fucking thing. Time is way more than money. Time is the only thing. Time is money is dumb. Time is everything. Time equals money. Time equals life. Like, wh like what were we talking about? Time is like everything. If you don't have time, like if you're not here for a length of time, you're not here. So I just want to solidify how important it is that you put your time to things that fucking matter and things that matter more, right? More than YouTube. Cause a lot of the times I'll, I'll pretty it up, right? I'll put it in that dress and I'll say, Oh, I'm doing it for self. Okay. I didn't take notes. I didn't retain one thing. I just wasted two hours. I could have been doing work. I could have been doing this. I could have been enjoying myself. Right. Even if you said I played video games, like that's not productive. At least you fucking enjoyed yourself. I guess maybe you could enjoy YouTube, but it's like YouTube's more of like a time passer to me. Like even video games, it's like unproductive, but it's like, at least you might be playing with friends, having fun, right? And you can be like, okay, that was worth it. I felt like I just like relaxed a little bit, but YouTube seems like a trap to me. All social media seems like a trap. Um, and it's just crazy when you think that everything ever, any person you look up to, anything they invented, anything they did, any achievement, an artist or whatever it is, dude, it was, ma they made their shit with time. Time had to play a part. And I, it, it, it fucking like hurts to think about all the people in this world who will never become what their full potential is because they are getting fucking pulled by 20 strings and they just can't detach. Like I think about this enough, right? I think about it enough where it's like, think about all the people out there that would literally in another time, in another life, be inventors, be artists, be this, be that. And they can't, they just can't. And it's a lot of things, right? It's the way society structured. It's, it, it's, it's not set up for you to win at all. But now even with the internet, it's like, okay, it's set up for you to win because now we have the internet to leverage, but it's also set up because we have the internet that can lead to our downfall, right? So it's like, you can make an online business, but you could also equally just watch TikTok all day long. So it's like, the playing field is kind of always evening out because it's super easy, but it's super hard. So I give this a lot of thought just because, like I said, think about all the people out there, including me, right? Like, I think I'm this like, oh, I'm preaching to you. It's like, even if I put an hour a day to YouTube, that's actually a lot, but like 30 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day to YouTube, could those 20 minutes have given me some kind of outsized returns, right? Like, let's say I replaced my 20 minutes a day with a mindfulness practice and I did that for five years. Like that's huge. And it's these little things that you don't think add up. Like I can make a whole video on that about how like these small things add up. Um, I'd, I'd go more into it than that. Cause that's not very in depth or exciting. And most people know that shit, but you get my point. Like it's so weird when you think that everything you want to create, everything that you want to be, everything that you admire in another person, everything they built, everything they created all of it was time and it was focus. And if you can't devote time and focus to anything other than fucking YouTube or some other bullshit, like get off this video, like either hear me out and close this shit. Like I don't need subscribers. I don't need views. I just fucking make, I don't know. I'm going to keep making these videos, but like, I don't have a goal here. I'm just, there's like a bug that just flew. I thought it was in the room. Anyway, <laughs> 
don't make these videos to get millions of views. I'm trying to build something else. I want this YouTube to eventually have an impact. And I want people to go back and be like, wow, this guy like has his receipts. He, he was making videos for a long time, blah, blah, blah. So that's why I'm doing this and to help people along the way. But like, get the fuck off YouTube. Like you're watching this shit on YouTube. I only have it on YouTube. Get the fuck off. Either hear me out and leave. Like, I don't care if it's a, if you unsubscribe because it, it's a weird thing. It's like, I'm part of the problem in a lot of ways. I'll just be totally honest. Like I'm making a YouTube video right now. I upload TikToks, but it's because I make money from a TikTok theme page. So it's like this weird balance of like, it's always better to be on the creator side, yet you are fun. You are, you are the problem, but you're also the solution, right? Because it's like, if you upload videos to help people, aren't you good? But it's like, but you keep uploading them and they keep watching them, which means they're hooked. So it's like, are you doing more damage or are you doing more good? You're probably doing more good. Or is that something I choose to believe or that most creators choose to believe? It's weird. It's a fucking weird balance. Cause it's like, you just want to do what you want to do, right? I want to put out a video. I want to put out this, but it's like, so does everybody else. So now what happens, they have thousands of the same people saying, oh, I just want to put out my stuff. And then they get locked into thousands of videos or whatever it is. So it's weird. It's like, I wish I was the only one to push out content. Right. Most people probably do because then it's like you're not you're not locked in. You're not hooked. You're just kind of watching my stuff. Right. But it's like even then that sounds so. So so it, it is a weird, a weird issue when it's like it's always better on the creator side, but you can't make fun of like, oh, you know, silly you. You just sit and watch reels all day or watch this because it's like, well, if I post reels, I want you to watch them. So it's like, what the hell? So I'm going <laughs> to just to be totally honest with you, that's a weird spot for me there where it's like. I'm telling, but that's, that's where we're at. I'm just want to keep it hundred percent real here. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to make this because I think it's, it's crazy. Like even now, like even my, my focus is split. Like I should have, I'm not going to say should have, because, um, I think this is valuable. I left a voice note for myself. That was an hour long. I think it was super fucking valuable, super insightful. I, um, I turned 20 today, which is fucking mind blowing to me. Um, feels old. Most people probably would not agree with that, but it feels old to me. And, um, yeah, I left this hour long voice note for myself. It has nothing to do with the fact that I turned 20, but I think it really like solidified that I got to like get shit moving because it's like, you know, some people might say, oh, well, 20 you're you got a lot of time. It's like, dude, like I've, this is all I care about. Like all I care about is like succeeding, improving, blah, blah, blah. So it's like to say you got time. It's like, no, like things need to move now. Like I'm not sitting on my ass, but, um, yeah, but I just want to make this video because I think it's absolutely fucking insane how, you know, everything is out there and it, it's really up to you. It's really up to you. Everything is trying to get your attention. Everything wants your attention and your focus. And it's the most valuable thing in the world. And if you give it freely, they will all take it. All the platforms will eat the shit up. They will, they will eat that shit up, right? They will eat all of it up because they want it. They want your attention. So you just need to be so intentional with where it goes. Where do you want it to go? What do you want to build? Are you even putting time to it? Like focus matters. I'm not saying you can't watch a YouTube video here and there. I'm not saying you can't do this or that, but realize that this might be a problem and this might be hindering your success. This might actually be a problem because I think a lot of times I suppress this. And I'm like, oh, it's not, it's not, it kind of is, right? And little things fucking add up. Like I'm talking like an hour a day, man. Like if you devoted an hour a day to a craft, you would be, you'd be playing the piano and like not, not long, right? You'd be able to play the piano or you'd be able to do this or that or juggle, right? Juggle, juggling took me like a day to learn, not even an entire day, like probably how many, many minutes worth of practice total, like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So it's like little things like this where it's like, that's stupid juggling, right? But I'd rather know how to juggle than fucking watch 20 podcasts and I only, I can't even retain one bit of information. So just realize that it is this big of a deal. Like, I feel like some people have this mindset, especially on social media where it's like, it's not that deep, right? It's not that deep. It is that deep. It is your life. Like it is literally your fucking life. And if you're going to just throw shit wherever, like things, but you know what I mean? Like you're just going to walk through life. A video is going to pop up. You're like, okay, yeah. Video is going to pop up. You'll be like, okay, yeah. Good luck. It's not that deep. Okay. You say that in a comment section. Like, this is where I see this stuff. 
right? Not, not about this topic, but still about other things. And it's like, dude, I can see people saying it here. It's not real. Like I'm just saying it in my mind, but like, I can see people, but Oh, it's not that deep. It's you'd be like, Oh my God, you could be an inventor. You could be an artist. You could be the next, this person or this person. Oh, it's not that deep. Okay. Okay. If you don't want to be those people that you look up to, if you don't want to do the, the, those dreams in your head, if you just want to keep them in there instead of out there, it's not that deep. Then you're right. It's not that deep. But if you do care, if you do care where your life goes, if you do care what you become and what you do and the impact that you have, it is that deep. It actually is that deep. And you, this is what I mean about becoming relent or not relentless, like becoming intentional and realizing that this shit matters. It does matter. So I think that's all my points. Um, yeah. Interesting re realization. But um, yeah, hopefully you get the... No, not hopefully. Get the fuck off YouTube. Stop watching this video. And put focus to what you want to achieve. Want to be mindful? Meditate, right? Want to be swole? Go to the gym. Want to be more charismatic or more this or more confident? Visualize yourself being that way, right? Go into your mind and think, think about a scenario and run through what it would have been like if you were that way. Feel into that, right? Visualize a bit. You want to be a millionaire? Do some inputs. Like these are all relying on inputs and inputs, guess what they require? Time, focus, and everything wants your time and your focus. And it will take it. It will gladly take it. And it is not only taking your time and your focus, think about it this way. It's taking your potential. Like think it, this should be aggravating. This should be genuinely pissing you off that things out there are sucking the full potential out of you. Like you have full potential that was like put in you and it will never be reached because these platforms are just relentless. And again, it is all on you. Like you can, I, I don't even want to blame the platform. I don't even want to say YouTube's the problem. It's like, no, YouTube's a super valuable asset, but if you can't fucking control yourself, it's not. It's the worst thing ever. So I don't even have this like hatred towards YouTube or towards anything. It's like, dude, you just have to know how to fucking control yourself. It's that simple, dude. Just know when to turn it off. Like you can change your, YouTube can change your life. A book can change your life. But if you're not going to do anything, I guess YouTube's a, a better example because that's way worse than a book in my mind. But like, if you can't control yourself, that's on you. So it's not even this, like I said a thousand times, it's not even this hatred for the platforms. It's just like, you can't blame, like they made this for people to consume and you just won't stop. That's the problem. Their, their shit can probably still run if you're not consuming all day long. So just do, like, just stop, right? They'll be fine. But you got to direct that time, attention, focus. And like I said, all these things will fucking eat it up. So learn how to control yourself with this shit. I say this to myself too. I don't think I'm that bad, but I'm not, I'm nowhere near, like I am not off social media, right? No shot am I off. Like, I actually thought about that one time. I was like, dude, what if I actually didn't have my phone for a day? And a lot of it's for like work reasons and all this. Like I do shit on my phone, but it's like, wow, that's wild that like I wouldn't be able to survive without YouTube for a day. Not survive, but you, you get my point. Like my brain would be like, oh, let's go to YouTube. And I'd be like, oh, I can't. I said I wouldn't. That is an addiction. That is like when you just have something, stimuli, you go do it and whatever. But then the moment the stimuli comes up and you're like, oh, I can't. It's like, damn, like that's when you realize when you don't have it is when you realize. So yeah, hope this video helped get off YouTube, direct your time and attention and your focus intentionally to where you want to go to who you want to become and do not let social media suck the full fucking potential out of you. Do not let it happen. It is that deep. Peace.